Peace, 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 love, light of healing, peace, love, light of healing, peace to the gods, peace to the earth. How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? Y'all climb on in, climb on in, climb on in the building. Y'all see what we talking about today? We're going to be talking about how to fully dissolve excessive mucus buildup and how to truly eliminate parasitics, eliminate acidosis, eliminate overgrowth of bacterial, all these things. So y'all climb on in, climb on in. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We got some questions today. I'm not going to go over many questions today because, you know, I usually don't read questions, but before I answer them, like usually the wives will print me out these things and then I'll get online and read them without, I mean, and read them out loud without reading them prior uh, or before I read them to y'all. But this time I got these questions in and I read them uh, just going through some stuff and studying today. And I'm like, it's two major questions that I want to address today, and this is going to really take up a lot of time because the cases are so extensive. So I really want to get to this, man, and it's the reason why I named the video How to Eliminate Excessive Mucus Buildup and How to Get Rid of Instructions and Get Rid of Acidosis because, again, that's all we're dealing with. You know, when dealing with health, when dealing with healing sicknesses and so-called disease because disease is nothing but an illusion, uh, we have to understand that there's only two sides of chemistry. You know, you're not dealing with a, a, a boogeyman. You're not dealing with a ghost. You're dealing with violating nature and eating and consuming things that your physiological structure was not made to eat. And that brings you into, you know, genetic diseases. And is genetic diseases truly real? And if you look at genetic diseases uh, from a scientific standpoint, there really is no such thing as a genetic disease. What's passed down and what's genetic is the culture is the tradition in the foods, you know, that your ancestors was eating and that your great grandmother and great grandfather was eating. These things were then passed down to you and you live that eternal or external lifestyle. And that's the reason why you have acidosis. And that's the reason why you have so-called disease because your meridian pathways is not open. So that energy cannot flow with ease no more. Now you're at a dis-ease. See, when we say dis-ease, that's what we mean. We don't mean cancer. We don't mean sickle cell anemia, tumors. We don't mean all these allopathic community words that they be using because these words simply don't exist. You know, they put fear behind these words to keep you scared for you can buy into their pharmaceutical uh, sorcery and you can buy their medicines. And then you get on these medicines and the side effects from the medicines is what's taking y'all out and what's making y'all transition. It's not necessarily the so-called dis-ease. The dis-ease is nothing but the symptoms that your body is having while it's trying to detoxify itself. But you haven't been taught properly how when your body is going through these symptoms to change your eating habits up so now you have excessive mucus buildup and that excessive mucus buildup brings on pressure brings on stagnated lymphatic systems brings on alcidosis brings on all types of crystallization and calcification inside the body and that's what's taking y'all out because it's too it's too hard to it's too unbearable to to bear that pain of that pressure that since that that systematic systemic pressure of the lymphatic system being stagnated that hurts and then you got all these different pain receptors throughout the the neurological aspect throughout your body sending messages like look go get help go get help so you run and go get help and then they give you the potion they give you the pharmacia they give you the pharmaceuticals they give you the chemicals they give you the real acids that's really going to take you out and you see the side effects man it's crazy it is crazy how the allopathic community have been getting away with massive murder for so many years, y'all. And then you look up these medicines and you start breaking down a chemical factory or you get Tylenol or you get aspirin and you get put a lighter to them and you burn them down to the ash that they leave behind. You're going to see tar. And then you go take this tar to any lab, any laboratory that's local. You probably have to pay $350 uh, a specimen of it, but you pay that price and then they check it in. They check this ingredients of this tar that's left behind from you burning and breaking down these pharmaceuticals. And it is 93% petroleum oil, petroleum oil. Y'all know what petroleum oil is. This is literally motor motor oil that you put in your car. So you see that 93% of all pharmaceutical medicines literally have motor oil in them. And once you really get into John D. Rockefeller and you start studying how he basically came and just hijacked 
the, the naturopathy community and took medicine from being botanicals and plants and then started adding plastic and oil and all types of different metals and stuff to them, it'll blow your mind how one man control the whole entire medical industry. And then they give you things like Hippocrates and tell you that Hippocrates is the father of medicine. When we see that you see all types of Moscow papyruses, you see all types of Edmund uh, Smith papyruses, all types of Isis papyruses made thousands of years before Hippocrates was even thought of and even born. And you look on the hieroglyphs and they talking about surgery. They're talking about natural medicines, the regimen. They talking about how to mix the herbal plants together. So we see that we have a point of reference and something to identify with when it comes to our healing and our holistic health. And it is not with these people and it's not in a doctor's office and it's damn sure ain't in a hospitals and in a pharmaceutical chemicals that they giving us to kill us. We have to go back to the ancient ways that's been here for over a hundred thousand years, y'all. And that is herbal rem remedies and that is eating correctly. If we can go back to the Garden of Eden, if we can go back to the Nile Valley Crescent of Mishraim, or what you would call Egypt, a Kemet. If we can go back there and pick up that ancestral history, or her story, should I say, because histories is full of lies, because it's all Negroes do is lie. Go back to her story and start really picking up that ancient methodology of healing, we will not be in none of the situations we are in now. Just reading these cases be breaking my heart, y'all. Like, these cases are so deep that I literally wanted to focus on these cases and not even read no other ones today because this is going to take up most of the time because our people are debt sick. Our people lymphatic systems is debt stagnated, is debt backed up. Our people's cellular structure, biochemical structure is so constipated that we are literally suffocating and burning alive from the acidosis and the excessive biofilms and the excessive mucus buildup because the environment that we have been put, that we've been putting ourselves in and the food, that the so-called food that we have been eating. And the reason why I call it so-called food because food is supposed to yield vitality. Food is supposed to yield energy. Food is supposed to make you more intellectual. Food is supposed to bring the past into the future, the future into the present. Food is supposed to be highly energetic and keep you connected to your source, to your God. Eating is a ritual. Food is cultural. Food is traditional. And none of these foods that we've been eating is giving us anything that I just mentioned. The only thing that these so-called foods is doing is robbing us of all of our phytonutrients, nutrients, stripping our bodies of all this mineralization, and it is killing us. So we cannot call this stuff we eat in food. Point blank, period. But if you can hear me good, and if you can see me good, type in some nines, and we finna get everything started. Let me turn this phone off, too. If you can hear me good, and if you can see me good, type in some nines, and we are gonna get this started. It's two particular cases that I wanna focus on today because I feel like a lot of knowledge can come from these two particular cases, and it's gonna cover a broad uh, spectrum of, of the whole entire human anatomy, the head plus the torso, I mean everything. And if y'all can write this down and pull out y'all pads and y'all notebooks, y'all truly, truly get a, a broad, uh, uh, for real broad knowledge today, just from going over these two particular cases. So if you can hear me well and see me well, type in some nines. Uh, if you on my, face, my Facebook, type in some sevens. I don't see nobody from Facebook on here. I do want to make sure my Facebook is working. Today I'm drinking on some cantaloupe melon juice. Super fire. Who knows? I let it ferment enough. I might get me a buzz. <laughs> okay, we see Facebook in the building. And we also see YouTube is in the building. So let's get this started. Make sure y'all got y'all pens and y'all pads because we have a lot to go over today. Man, I spilled this all over me. And uh, I'm going to pull out some of the cadavers and we're going to go through some of these cadavers too because I ain't been through the cadavers in a while. I done spilled this juice all on my legs, man. All right, let's get it started. Let's get it started. All right. So the first question says this, y'all. It says, I am, I am a 50-year-old lady with multiple illnesses, y'all. So, you know, in this particular cases, case, we're going to be dealing with multiple illnesses or multiple uh, obstructions due to the, the bio-spiritual body. All right. So the first one she's dealing with is lupus. And we was dealing with somebody else yesterday that had lupus. And we actually went over what they was going through with the lupus. So I don't really want to touch on lupus too much. If you want to get to lupus, you can go back to my video from yesterday. But lupus is basically uh, 
uh, systemic lymphatic buildup and you see that your skin start taking a poop and it start giving you rashes and literally the so-called immune system which I don't believe in I believe that the immune system is the lymphatic system the lymphatic system of lymphocytes phagocytes neutrophils uh, basophils monophils you know all these different things that help the body defend itself from the external environment start attacking the cells and the reason why it's attacking the cells is because it's acidosis on the cells the body is not stupid the body is not uh, inintelligent it is attacking the cells because all it see is mucus and all it see is a stream acids on the cells so if the cells are surrounded by acids and you got macrophages that's created and made to eat acids then while it's eating and chewing the acid cells up and swallowing up swallowing them up to take them to the lymph nodes for more, you know, breaking down or digestion or metabolic processes of the cells, then potentially it will eat the cell too. And that's what lupus is. Now she's suffering from hypertension too. So the first one is lupus, y'all. Write that down. The second one is hypertension. We know what hypertension is. When you look at hypertension, hypertension is nothing but high blood pressure. Hypertension is basically, okay, so when you look at blood pressure, you have a top number. The top number is called systolic. Systolic is your adrenals. The bottom number is diastolic. Diastolic is your actual kidneys, right? So what happens is the adrenals is in control of something called the cardiac kick. Write that down. The adrenals is in control of something called the cardiac kick. And what the cardiac kick is, you have different melanin uh, neuroreceptors and transmitters that's released by the adrenal glands that signals the heart and tell the heart to open up its valves further. And when the heart open up its valves the widest, you have more blood flow that is pushing itself through the arteries. And what happens is, it's the blood pushing itself through the arteries super hard, it'll push against the artery wall. That pressure that's against the artery wall is where you get your systolic number from. So we'll say that it's supposed to be 120 over 60. That's that's real textbook, 160 over 20, I mean, 120 over 60. Since you are so-called African-American and what I'm gonna call you are Aboriginal American, which is, that means you are African in America, you know, due to stress, due to slavery, due to post-traumatic slavery, ancestral beatings, and then, you know, they, these different transgenerational epigenetic inheritance, we would say your blood pressure will be 130 over 80. That's not even bad due to all the stress that you would have been to in this environment, right? So whenever you see this top number high or low, you are either going through hypertension or hypotension but the top number is systolic which is your adrenal glands and then the bottom number which is supposed to be at 60 or what they say 70 that is called diastolic that's where you get dialysis from that is your kidneys usually the kidneys start being compromised when you got kidney stones or you got too much cholesterol built up in the kidneys or you are suffering from extreme acidosis notice all these things are on the corrosive side of chemistry only the corrosive side of chemistry will have you building up water, will have you coagulating blood, will have you building up too much calcification and causes kidney stones, will have your nephrons in your kidneys not processing or not filtering the metabolic waste that your cells accumulate from when they eat and from when they digest. Because remember, your cells have a digestive system called the ribosome, called the, uh, called the exosome. You see what I'm saying? So when your cells are literally digesting the food that you eat in the micro minerals, they have to poop too. And during this digestion stage, if they're not pooping in your lymphatic system, is not picking up that accumulated defi uh, defecation that they're putting out, then the buildup start happening in the kidneys. And once the buildup happens, obstruction happens because acid burns and destroys things. This destruction of the kidneys and adrenals will actually send it into hyper or hypoactivity. The hypoactivity is when the blood pressure is too low. That's a low cardiac kick. The hyperactivity is when the systolic is too high. See that? That's hyper. That's a high cardiac kick. And that's where you get the shooting blood pressure from or the low blood pressure from. So we see automatically off back that she have kidney and adrenal issues and her kidneys and adrenals are so down that her lymphatic system is backing up and giving her lupus. Not only that, she has something called dice. Look, she have diastolic dysfunction, diastolic dysfunctioning, showing you that she have renal failure. She have diastolic problems. This is the kidneys again. See, whenever you're talking about healing, whenever you're talking about health, whenever you're talking about getting rid of mucus, eliminating biofilms, getting rid of parasites and bringing the body into a state of homeostasis, you will always have to check the kidneys and adrenals because these two organs are very, very important and vitally important when it comes to your healing because this is one of the major ways not the only ways, but one of the major ways we can start that elimination 
and process and to make sure that you're getting rid of all the excess mucus buildup and all the metabolic waste that your cells been accumulating throughout your whole entire life. So we got lupus, which is acidosis. We got hypertension, which is acidosis. We got dystolic, uh, dystolic dysfunctioning, which is acidosis. And we got pseudo tumor salivary pseudo tumor salivary and then when you start looking at what pseudo tumor salivary is it's nothing but a uh, cranio it's, it's inside cranial pressure so now we're starting to see pressure build up in the cranial or the nasal cavity and the reason why the pressure is building up is because the transverse colon which is right here is so full of mucus and so full of pus and so full of uric acid that is building up systemically because this is where the the mucinoid sac starts at remember yesterday when we was talking about the primitive gut tube not only is the primitive gut tube created at the same time as the nervous system but during that time in the primitive gut tube you have the foregut the mid gut and that high gut alongside of that you have something called the mucosa sac that's produced so the lymph the lymphatic system literally starts at the root of the trunk that's in the stomach area or in the gut area so if you get backed up in the transverse colon which is the largest part of your gut area then of course your lymphatic system is going to get backed up too we're talking about hundreds of miles of lymphatic ducts and vessels y'all plus lymph nodes. these are hundreds of miles long it's just compacted and it's wrapped inside of your body they call it the interstitial fluid of your cells and this fluid wraps around each individual each individual cell so just imagine how many miles that you have to be systemically backed up for it finally to reach your glymphatic system or what we call the, cr the cranial cavity and start backing up into your sinus cavity, y'all. That got to be a lot of blockages and a lot of backing up there, y'all. So now we see that she got a bunch of ter uh, a horrific pressure built up in her head. Imagine it, just migraines all day, headaches all day, got to turn the lights off. Feel like your eyes is gonna pop out your head, sneezing constantly all day, draining all day or not draining all day. And then now we're dealing with cerebrospinal fluid. The only difference between cerebrospinal fluid and, and, and mucus is that the mucus is a part of the lymphatic system that actually protects the body from the external environment. The thing about cerebrospinal fluid, cerebrospinal fluid is a part of the glymphatic system of the head and it actually protects the brain from the external environment. Matter of fact, let me Google something real quick so I can show y'all how this look. And I'm going to actually show y'all how to get rid of all of these different headaches and everything else that's going on. So look, check this out, y'all. All right. It says the key difference between cerebrospinal fluid and mucus is that cerebrospinal fluid or CSF is a clear fluid that surrounds and cushions the central nervous system or the brain while mucus is a white stringy and slippery fluid produced by many tissues of our bodies that protects the cells that's the only difference they both have the same exact definition and purpose one just protects the glymphatic system or is the glymphatic system and the other fluid is the lymphatic system and protects the cells so one protects the cells surrounding the brain and then the other ones protects the cells surrounding the body or the cells that make up the body so if you got cerebrospinal fluid congested inside of your head this is where you get tumors from pituitary tumors brain tumors alzheimer's disease dementia amyloid proteins start building up all this stuff happens from outward external things coming into the body for instance as we talking about the v word or inoculations once you start getting inoculations and you start getting these shots and stuff and they start introducing your body into into metal and materials that's not a part of your physiology mucus is going to respond if it goes to your brain then cerebrospinal fluid is going to respond the buildup of cerebrospinal fluid leads back a byproduct called amyloid protein this amyloid protein is built with amino acids remember the last word in amino is what acids so you have amino acids just sitting there not doing a specific job so they break down into more acids and then these acids start burning the tissues that builds up the brain or builds up the cells so we see how it is. It's the byproducts of things that are starting to kill us. Now, I want to show you all how this looks, though. But y'all see that there's really no difference between cerebral spinal fluid and uh, actual mucosa uh, mucus. It's all in cholesterol. Cholesterol is the same thing as well. LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol. It's all a part of this mucus membrane. And these things are a defense. It's not to kill you. These things actually defends the body. You just don't know how to change what you're eating. So they start building up excessively. And then you have a problem 
problem because they start uh, they start suffocating the cells and mind you that they're picking up acids on the way so you got suffocation you got suffocation of the cells and then you got acid burning the cells at the same time and this called cellular apoptosis where the cells start dying off and this is what you call sickness and disease because if the cells die you can't produce ATP which stands for adenosine triphosphate this is what yields energy and vitality so now we call this a blockage of energy and now the uh, meridian pathway or the lymph site vessel is obstructed so energy cannot flow properly or easy so now you're at a dis-ease you see the illusion but once you know the definition and you know how the bio spiritual body work you they can't get you with the okie doke they can't hit you with the okie doke no more so i want to show y'all this real quick so you see what she got going on so she got systemic increased cranial pressure now this pressure is in her cranial the cranial means head i'm gonna show y'all on this too but i want to show y'all what it looked like so y'all can read it so you see in the front in this front area she got the frontal sinus she got the ethmoid sinus she got the actual phrenoid sinus and she got the nasal cavity which is another uh, sinus cavity the maxillary ca cavity and the foreign throat all these things hold mucus and hold, the bottom part holds mucus and the top part holds cerebrospinal fluid. When these things are congested because your cells are pooping and your lymphatic system is stagnant and it starts building up and sewage builds up on top of sewage and sewage build up on top of sewage, pressure comes from that. So now you got all this pressure, you got sinus infections, you got overpopulation of bacteria, which is going to bring on all types of parasites and different microorganisms and biofilms that you don't want in the body, though you have to relieve that pressure. What they give them, now look, let me show you how, how this works and let me show you how the doctors know that they doing bullshit. They give you a medicine that helps drain us. It's a diuretic. It's called acetozolamide. Acetozolamide. Now, acetozolamide literally is a diuretic medicine that they give you to dissolve the mucus in the biofilm that's inside of your cranial cavity so you can get rid of that build up mucus and that build up cerebrospinal fluid, right? Now, check this out. It's called acetozolamide. Your kidneys and your adrenals produces something naturally called acetylcholine or acetylcholinesterase that does the same thing naturally, naturally that the adrenal glands and the kidneys produce naturally. You see that? So they're starting to give you synthetic things and hormones, synthetic hormones that your body's supposed to produce naturally. Instead, they go to a chemical factory and they make this shit up and give it to you that comes with long side effects. That's books and books loans that'll kill you in the long run instead of just saying, look, let's open up the kidneys. Let's put you on an all fruit diet, bring in hydration. Let's break up all of the different obstruction and coagulation and the glomulation that's in the transverse colon, that's in the duodenum of the duodenum of the colon. That way that mucus can start flowing out freely. Let's get the kidneys and the adrenals back online. And once the adrenals get back online, it can start producing acetylcholine. Acetylcholine can then be uh, uh, converted by enzyme and it can produce acetylcholinesterase. Acetylcholinesterase will go to the actual tubulars, go through the vessels, the arteries, and the lymph vessels, and it will start dilating and constricting them, now you can start moving metabolic waste outside of the body properly other than getting acetoxylamide, which is going to kill you in the long run and ain't going to really do nothing but be a diuretic to urine and you ain't going to even be passing no metabolic waste in your urine. So it really don't make no sense to even go to these people, y'all. I'm telling you. What is the point? They ain't doing nothing but killing our bodies and suppressing our symptoms. We don't want suppressive therapy. We don't need nobody suppressing our symptoms. We need to get to the root cause of the problem. And the root cause of the problem ain't congested sinus cavities. The root cause of the problem is not lupus. The root cause of the problem is not hypertension. The root cause of everything that we've been reading so far is strictly acidosis because you are in the wrong environment and you're putting the wrong things in your body. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. So, so far we got lupus, we got hypertension, we got diastolic dysfunctioning, and we got pseudo tumor celebrity. And I'm gonna show y'all how to get these things out. I'm gonna show y'all how to get these things out. And let me just put it on the board for y'all one more time for y'all can see what I'm talking about. See that you got the frontal sinuses, you got the ethmoid sinuses, you got the ethmoid sinuses, you got the nasal cavities, you got the maxillary sinuses, you see that you got the free noise sinuses, and then you got the fornix throat. And that's what we really need to be talking about. So I'm going to pull up 
my actual uh cadaver here and we're gonna go through it y'all we're gonna go through it let's go through it let's get it let me pull my head up real quick get my pen all right so the first thing i want to show y'all matter of fact is the colon and the good thing about this colon is that this colon is a uh, obstructed colon so notice when you eat things, when you eat things, your body break these things down. It goes into the stomach. Once it goes into the stomach, the rest of these things start going into the, duo, uh, the duodenum. From there, they always end up in the transverse colon. Inside the transverse colon, you have many different absorption factors, but not only do you have many different absorption factors inside of the transverse colon, but you have many lymph ducts and you have many lymph nodes. Not only that, you have something called the payer patches inside of these things too. And this is called lymphatic associated tissues. These lymphatic associated tissues is supposed to take the excessive mucus that's being built up inside the transverse colon from absorbing and breaking down all the metabolic waste and from this metabolic waste being broken down by the cells you have a, a, a acidic reaction what what happens is these things are supposed to be picked up by the lymph ducts taken to the lymph nodes and broken down by something called macrophages but if these things are happening and you constantly bring in acidic forming foods what will happen is this system will get backed up so what's going to go through the blood capillaries in this absorption factor is mucus. So now mucus is traveling through the bloodstream. Mucus in the blood is a bad thing. So mucus is going to start going to any lymphatic associated organ and dropping this mucus off. One of the lymphatic associated organs that it will drop it off in is called the spleen. The other one is called the thymus gland. Once it makes it to the thymus gland and it start dumping it off, this one you see people to getting all types of thyroid gorders. They got a runny nose all the time because now the mucus have made it to the glymphatic system and this blockage have been backed up systemically in the glymphatic system. Then all of a sudden you start seeing the cavity, the sinus cavities be backed up. See this pocket right here? This pocket is called the frontal sinus. This is where you get most of your frontal migraines from because you are lymphatically and glymphatically backed up. It's building up pressure. You have to relieve that. The best way to relieve it is straight from the nose. So I'm going to throw you in cold and flu-like symptoms. My herbs are going to give you cold and flu-like symptoms so you can start draining these things. You see that? Then right under here, you have something called the maxillary sinus cavity. This is where actually the phenoid sinus cavity is at, the ethnoid sinus cavity. Then you have the esophagus and the esophagus and the pharynx, you have different mucus buds inside of here as well. We have to drain these things. The only way to drain these things is through the eyes, of course, because you notice that the frontal sinus cavity is right by the eyes where the tear ducts is at. So if you start getting on the herbs and you get you some eye brights, you can start clearing that out by rinsing your eyes three times a day. We'll start off at one times a day and then move it up to three because I don't know if that cayenne pepper gonna be too irritating for you and then you start getting swelling and inflammation of the eyes. Start off with a few drops a day and you're gonna start seeing when you wake up, your eyes is gonna be shut because mucus is gonna be corroded on the eyes because you're starting to pull out of that mucus or excessive mucus build up and pressure out of the frontal, the frontal cavity. Then we're gonna move and we're gonna move to the actual phenoid cavity. The phenoid cavity is what gives you that inner pressure when the back of your head start hurting. You wonder where that migraine coming from because you got all this pressure literally pushing up against your hypothalamus gland and your hypothalamus cam uh, campus. And this is what starts calcifying the actual pituitary gland, giving you all types of pituitary tumors and also the third eye, giving you all types of calcification of the third eye because mucus have to respond. So spinal fluid have to respond because that's where the calcium is at and the calcium is what neutrifies acids when you have calcium and acids that's that's mixing together with mucus and with cerebrospinal fluid and there is no fontanelle or what we're going to call alternative root of elimination they start crystallizing this is where the problems start happening at because all the systemic lymphatic and the cerebrospinal fluid backup or constipation is being crystallized the best way to start draining these things is I throw your body into a cold and flu-like symptoms. And that's what the herbs do. That's what the fruits and the dieting change into a lipid would do. You will start coughing to a breakup of globulation. You start sneezing to start getting the particles outside of the frontal cavity. You start getting the ethmoid uh, uh, particles out of the cavity. cavity. You start getting all of the different freenoid spinal fluid built up and mucus built up out of the cavity. I'm going to start having you cough. You're going to be sneezing. You might throw up mucus. Mucus is going to be running from your nose. Mucus is going to be coming out of your tear ducts through your eyes. But this is the only true way to drain this brain. Now, you still going to have a lot of leftover mucus and cerebral spinal fluid 
built up in the cavity. So now the rest of it got to go down the throat and travel back through your urine and your poop. And this is where the esophagus and the pharynx is going to come into play at because now we are cleansing the transverse colon. So all that systematic, that systematic and synthetic blowback is starting to release itself. So now you can drain properly, y'all. If y'all got that so far, type in some nines. If y'all got that so far, type in some nines. And I'm going to give y'all the herbs to do this with, especially when it comes to the head. You know, when it comes to the head and head colds and increased cranial pressure, you have specific herbs that can go in there and do the job that's going to be in the head. All right, perfect, perfect. Yes, that's right, y'all. No suppressive therapy. No suppressive therapy at all. That's right. I'm glad y'all get that. Okay, so look, one of the herbs is called mullein. Mullein leaf is very, very good for breaking up that lymphatic pressure that's in the head, breaking up the cavities and that mucus buildup. Let me turn this around for y'all can get familiar with that. They can start breaking up that the sinus cavity mucus, the calcification. Another one is cumin seeds or black seed oil. A lot of people sleep on black seed oil. You want to throw yourself into a, flu, a cold and flu-like symptoms? You want to catch a cold or catch a detox? See, catching a cold is a good thing. That means my lymphatic system is still working and my body is trying its hardest to eliminate the pressure that's built up into my head and not only eliminate the pressure that's built up in my head, but eliminate the excessive mucus and cerebral spinal fluid buildup that's in my cranial passage waves as, as possible. So it's a good thing to catch a cold. You're catching a detox. And the reason why is because the winter is alcohol line summer is acidic you see that but when you start getting into the fall the fall i hate to call it the fall we're gonna call it the stand because fall just sound bad ain't nothing falling things are starting to really stand what you're seeing is the recycle of life but in the fall time that is called neutral ground that's called the balance of homeostasis so notice in the cold they say boy put a coat on because if you go out in that cold you're gonna catch a cold now what do they identify as a cold runny nose scratchy itchy throat a cough, sneezing all the time, mucus running out of the eyes. That's a good thing. Why is we labeling that as like it's a, di a disease or something that's bad? And then you go to the allopathic community and they're going to get something that's going to suppress your eyes getting clearing itself up of the frontal sinus cavity. When these sinus cavities are supposed to be free of all the mucus, they're going to get you something that's going to clear up your maxillary sinus cavity, your ethnoid sinus cavity, your free noid sinus cavity, your pharynx sinus cavity. These things need to be flowing. I need to see things coming up out of them because that means it works. So when you're suppressing these things and you're suppressing my cough, now I can't break up coagulation. I can't break up agglomulation. I can't get that excessive mucus out. If you truly want to dissolve mucus, I'm telling y'all, write this stuff down, I'm saying, and this mucus will leave your body and won't be suffocating your cells no more. And now you won't be at dis-ease because the energy can start now flowing properly through the meridian pathways. You see what I'm saying? So mullein leaf. Black cumin seed oil, that black seed oil, they've been using black seed oil for the last 25,000 years. Who used it the most was the Egyptian in the 16th and 17th dynasty. They love black seed oil. It's all across the hieroglyphics. That's all they use. When you start looking up the papyrus and reading in the books, that's all they used to use. Even when you look on the cuneic forms of the Sumerian tablets, you start seeing them using cumin seeds and black seed oils. This go back billions of years, y'all. There have not been one time on earth where the black man and the black woman have been have not been existing on earth. That's a, We have been existing since earth have been here, y'all. And guess what? We've been using earth the whole time till about what 4,000 years ago when these when these people came into existence and we don't know where the fuck they done came from we don't know where they came from what cave what ice a we don't know where they came from but when they came they came with an agenda and their agenda is to annihilate the black gods and goddesses here from this earth y'all and they're doing it through the allopathic community they're doing it to gmo foods they're doing it through electromagnetic frequencies they're doing it through emf frequencies they're doing it through through uh uh, chemical warfare they're doing it through all type germ warfare i mean they're they're going above and beyond to make sure that your melanin is destroyed and that you die and your lineage die from the earth and we playing right into the game y'all we playing right into the game and guess what the first weapon is the first weapon against us is our food guess what your first defense is your first defense is what you putting in your mouth but you don't know what food is you forgot what food is. So now you're eating things that's against your anatomy. You're eating things that's against your tradition and against your culture, and you don't know how to combat that, or you don't know how to take certain things and mix up certain potions and concoctions to get this bullshit up out of you, so it's annihilating you.
We are self-destructing because we lack knowledge. Ain't no way it should only be 600 people on here. It should be 6 million people on here because guess what? We are all dealing with disease as a people. As a people, we are all dying. We are in the lake of fire, dying of systemic acidosis, burning the fuck alive. This is serious. Everybody need to be hearing this message because how are we going to enjoy wealth? How are we going to be here and do our purpose? How are we going to fulfill our mission here on earth? If we in a hospital bed all day, if we dying off all day, if our nervous system bound in our spirits to our body and we can't even move freely, we got joint pains because we got unutilized minerals stuck between our joints. We got rheumatoid arthritis. We got cancer. We got lupus. We got all these different systemic acidosis backing up in our system, killing us. It ain't no way you thinking about your purpose when you burning alive ain't no way you thinking about your purpose when you got sickle cell anemia every minute you getting blood clots it ain't no way you thinking about your purpose when you dropping dead of aneurysms your blood pressure so high you can't even think straight you got pressure in your canyon feel like your eyes finna pop out and your brain finna explode how are you here trying to think about what you was created for and here to do if you are suffering and you're blocked and you're stuck in a coffin because you're eating the wrong things and because you're violating nature nature is now violating the shit out of you you. It's time to start undoing these processes. The same way that the nasal cavities got built up, we got to reverse what we did. Eating got her in this situation. So now fasting is going to get her out. Dieting got her in this situation. Now living is going to get her out. You see that? Wrong foods got her in this situation. Eating the right foods or fuel is going to get her out. You see what I'm saying? Lack of exercise got her in this situation. Exercising properly is going to get her out. All we have to do is repent. If you look up the biblical definition of repent, it simply means turn back. We just got to reverse the bullshit we doing. You see that? These are the real sins. Violated nature. Eating things that's not a part of your physiological structure. That's the real transgression of the universal law. So what it means to really be righteous and to walk up righteously, to be just, to move in love. Notice it's called the fruits of the spirit. Fruits, obviously it's important when you start getting into Paul's writing and getting to Galatians 5 and chapter 6, you start hearing about the fruits of the spirit. Why is it relating itself to fruits? Because fruits are alkaline. Why when you go into the book of Revelation to talk about this tree, this tree of life that yields 12 manner of fruits every each month for the people and the leaves that grow from the fruits, the reproductive part of the plant was used for the healing of the nations. Obviously fruits and vegetables is damn important. I ain't never heard about a lamb chop or a pork chop gonna be good in the kingdom of God and you're gonna live eternally off of that so it's even showing you in the, the manuscripts and in the book what we supposed to be eating you are a frugal boy by nature and the plant medicine come from the stems and the reproductive part of the plants y'all point blank period and you can't get around it and we have the scientific facts and proof to back it up all you gotta do is go to all of our healing testimonies and look at the diet that we put them on my bad look at the livid that we put them on we strip themselves of meat, we stripped them of Harley grains, we stripped them of Harley beans, we stripped them of any byproduct of, a byproduct of an animal, we took, put them on fruits and vegetables not cooked, and we put them on an herb that was used for the healing of the nations, and a whole entire body healed itself, drained itself, and even cellular regeneration started setting in. We done seen thyroids grow back, we done seen all types of things grow back, y'all, showing you that true resurrection is here and now. The true kingdom of God is here and now, but you can't experience it because you burn in the hell because these asses have you in a state of the lake of fire, y'all, where the worm dieth not. That worm that dieth not is these damn Fasciolophagus booski worms traveling around in your digestive organ. That damn worm is cascara roaming around in your thymus gland. That damn worm is a hook worm, is a fluke worm, is a thread worm all in your brain, sucking out all of the vital nutrients of your living cells. See that? So when we talk about the Bible, you can't be speaking about the Bible and speaking about the Torah, speaking about the Tanakh and, and manuscripts if you ain't going to talk about the human anatomy of the black man and the black woman, the black god and black goddess's body, because that is a reflection of the scriptures. We have to eat our way back to health, y'all. We are eating our ways to death. Everything I'm talking about is food related. Everything. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. If y'all get what I'm saying so far, type of some nines. And my bad, y'all. I'm just getting over, overly, overly, you know, my passion, y'all. I hate to see our people going through stuff like this. You know, especially if all you have to do is turn back. 
And when I mean repent, I just mean turn back. Reverse what you did to get you in this situation. You have been eating wrong, family. You have been calling food. Food does not fuel for the hue, which means color, pigmentation, melanin, body, which means a manifestation of the thinking faculty of man. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. So again, mulling, you got cleavers. Cleavers will help really pull. Help really pull. You got mint leaf. Mint leaf will really help pull. You know, eucalyptus. Eucalyptus is a good mucus buster, especially if you inhaling it with some with some water. Inhale that mucus. Look, you can get you some eucalyptus leaves, tie them around your shower. You can close that shower door, get you a towel, roll it up, and stick it under that space in that door. Turn that shower the hottest as you can. You sit on that toilet and you breathe deep. Do box diaphragmatic breathing. Breathe as deep as you can through your nasal passage. You'll start seeing that, that that aromatherapy from that eucalyptus will actually start draining all the different cavities and sinuses that we've been talking about. The maxillary sinus, the ethmoid sinus, the free noise sinus, the frontal noise sinus, all the different nasal passages. You, you will see that the cerebrospinal fluid will start coming from your eyes, start coming from your mouth, start coming from your nose. You're going to be hocking these things up from the bronchial tubes. You're going to get rid of that excessive mucus because now you're getting rid of the acids. Mucus is not the problem. It's the acids. The parasites is not the issue. It's the acids. The overpopulation of the microbiome or what we call microorganisms isn't the problem. It's the acids because the acidosis environment is what's bringing on all these things. These are things or effects. We need to talk about the problem. The problem is the wrong side of chemistry acidosis. Quit living in that Hellenistic mindset. Quit living in that lake of fire concept. Everything you do is to burn your cells and to burn your body. How about cooling down the cells? How about living and enjoying your life for a point in time and period in this time capsule? And the only way you can do that is by eating right, family, drinking right, having righteous thoughts, thinking positively. Well, real positivity is negativity. Thinking negative, because negative in, in, in biochemistry is alkaline. Positivity in biochemistry is hot as hell. They call it protons, or they call it proteins. These are some of the most destructive shit i ever seen in my life. So it ain't nothing good about being positive. But again, we speak in this English language, and they put words on you that cast spell. But you can go to the spelling bee. Huh? Grammar, grimori, which means demons, demonia, demonic. We have to, we have to catch the, the, it's all in the details, y'all. We are, we are in a damn hallucination and we have to break out of it. And I'm coming with the magic potion. Like, look, take some of this shit. Let's get up out of here. We've been asleep. Wake up. And y'all like, oh no, this nigga's the devil. When it's really, you have been tricked by the devil. <laughs> The devil that tricked you to believe in I'm the devil. I'm the nigga that's trying to save your, save your life. <laughs> Boy, ain't this paradoxical, right? Very paradoxical. Oxymoron, man. If y'all get what I'm saying, type in some nines, man. Type in some nines. All right, so we dealing with lupus. We talked about the hypertension. We talked about the diastolic dysfunctioning. We talked about the pseudotumor salivary. It says too much spinal fluid around my brain. And she have high cholesterol. Again, high cholesterol. If, if the cholesterol system is a part of the, the lymphatic system, if the lymphatic system is the mucous membrane, if the mucous membrane and the cerebrospinal fluid, the same exact thing, if you see cholesterol, cholesterol is cre created from the liver. The, the liver use something called lipo, lipoprotein. These are, are, it's, it's called the lipid-based system, or what they call polypeptides. This lipid-based system protects the body from acidosis. Inside of this lipid-based system, you have sugars, monosaccharide sugars, you have lymphocytes, you have phagocytes, you have T cells, which is thymus cells, you have B cells, which is bone marrow cells, you have uh, bacteria that chews on acids. All this stuff live inside of the cholesterol-based system, LDL or HDL. Same thing that live inside the mucinoid membrane, the mucosa membrane, same thing that live inside the lymphatic system. So we dealing with the same lipid oily based system. So if you have high cholesterol, the cholesterol is not the problem. The high cholesterol comes to save the day. Whenever you see high cholesterol, guess what you're going to see? You're going to see acidosis and calcification. So the reason why your cholesterol is high, the reason why you're building up too much cerebrospinal fluid, the reason why you're building up too much mucus is because your body is too full of what, y'all? Give me the word, family. I know y'all know it by now. Give me the word. Look, on pets, look, ain't eating nothing. Sweat coming from my armpits. What is this called? Lactic acid. 
Y'all see that building up right now? Lactic acid. Just by talking, I am burning fuel and my skin is eliminating as I speak. And I haven't eaten anything showing you that your body builds up acid naturally. So we got to get away from this acid alkaline theory and start really understanding what acid and acidosis and alkaline and base chemistry truly is, y'all. Truly is. That's right, family. Acids. Acids. The wrong type of acids. The body is going to build up acid regardless. Y'all see it. I'm glad that my body is eliminating this acid. Imagine if this acid stayed in my maxillary lymph nodes. If it stayed in the maxillary uh, lymph nodes of my underpits, then I'm going to start getting boils. These boils would then start turning into tumors. These tumors would then go to my breast cavity and I, I'll be a man with triple negative breast cancer. Then I, then if, if, if I'm not smart enough, I would get chemotherapy and then this it would travel to my lungs and now I got lung cancer. All because... This doesn't happen. I'm not perspiring. That's why sweating is very good because I'm eliminating toxic waste and buildup just for burning fuel and talking to y'all. So the body is going to build up byproducts and acids just by you being who you are. This is being tripped by my thymus gland. I mean, my thyroid gland, my thyroid gland and my parathyroid is actually raising my basal temperature to burn off the fuel for all the energy I'm using from teaching y'all. And that burning of this fuel, which is ATP or glucose or fructose factor is now having a byproduct of carbon dioxide, which is called carbonic acid and lactic acid. And instead of my body saying, you know what, I'm going to hold on to that that negative shit, which is really positive shit. My body works so good. It says, you know what? Use the lymph noise and use the skin and sweat out the toxicity. Ain't that beautiful and natural how the body truly works? Imagine people that can't sweat. Imagine people that have their sweat glands removed. Imagine people that skin is so backed up that you, your skin won't even take a poop for you because the kidneys and the adrenals down. Imagine how systemically backed up lymphatically you truly are. And that's why you have high blood pressure, high cholesterol, mucus coming from everywhere, and so much pressure built up in your head. Look, y'all, the body is trying to save itself. This is not sickness. There's no such thing as a damn disease. It's the body naturally trying to save itself. We have to get that concept. All of our ancient ancestors knew this knowledge, y'all. We're the only people that don't know it because we are being taught by another culture of people that truly don't want to see us alive and thriving because they benefit from our stupidity. They benefit off our downfall. They benefit from you and I being asleep. It's time to wake the fuck up, flat out. And excuse my, my French, y'all. Straight up. Y'all, we still going on, all right? High cholesterol. Look, uh, she got Meniere's disease. Meniere's disease, look, it's ear pressure buildup. It's when you get uh, uh, spinning in the ears. You get ringing in the ears. You start hearing your heartbeat. That's nothing but mucus inside the ears. But look, notice what's close to there. The, the uh, actual maxillary cavities. And then right here, if you go straight to the ear, Right behind the ear, you have what? The phenoid cavity. So if we can drain the phenoid cavity of all the mucus and built up spinal fluid due to acidosis and amyloid protein being in the brain because she have a backed up colon, transverse colon, guess what? The ears will start draining and you will start seeing earwax build up. You'll see a dark mucky substance start coming out of the ear and all that pressure will be relieved and she won't be having those spinning sensations or the ringing of the ears or that pressure built up on the eardrum anymore. Notice what we're dealing with, acidosis. There have not been nothing I read that's not due to acidosis. Lupus, acidosis. Hypertension, acidosis. Diastolic dysfunction, acidosis. Pseudotumor cerebro, acidosis. Too much spinal fluid around the brain, acidosis. High cholesterol, acidosis. Uh, Meniere's disease, acidosis. Mitral valve prolapse syndrome. Uh-oh, now she got a, 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 a mitral valve prolapse syndrome. This is the closure of the heart valve because the connective tissue is weak. Now look, I want to show y'all how the body is holistic and how all things are connected. So what happens is, this is a heart, y'all. So she has something called mitral valve prolapse syndrome. Mitral valve prolapse syndrome. This is the heart, right? This is the heart. Now, if you look at the heart from this way, on the left side, you have something that's actually separate. Let me take off this big ass thymus gland. This is the thymus gland, y'all. Let's take the thymus gland off. Now, let's go. Now, this is the top part. Now, the lower left chamber of the heart is right here. This valve is connected by a connective tissue, the mesonary duct, right? So the mesonary duct is actually weak. Guess what keeps this tissue strong in the heart, y'all? Calcium. Guess where the calcium come from? The thyroid and the parathyroid producing parathyromone and producing uh, parathyroxine. Now, 
Why is her thyroid compromising and all of her connective tissue is failing? And now she's dealing with these bowel prolapse, bowel and saggy skin or breast probably saggy and everything. Not talking about you, sister. I'm just predicting because I know what you got going on. So I hope you do not take that offensively at all. All right. Now, guess guess what's causing this? That's the thyroid. But notice when we go back and we look at everything she got going on and we see the congestion in her head, she have. And remember, we was talking about the frontal sinus and we talking about the phenoid. We talking about the ethnoid. We talking about the nasal passage and we was talking about the esophagus. Guess what's right down the esophagus and the pharynx? The thyroid. So she got a lot of mucus and acids built up on the thyroid. It's corroding the thyroid gland. So the thyroid gland is not producing parathyroxine and parathyromone, alerting calcium to actually do its job, which is to go to certain stitch tissues and build up structure functioning because the calcium is being used to put out acids because she is so systemically backed up with acidosis, the calcium can only do one thing. It's not going to build muscle tissue and put out acids at the same time. So it's going to choose the thing that's going to leave the body alive the longest. What's going to keep the body alive the longest is neutralizing acids. So now it's leaving the tissues alone. So now from her body not utilizing calcium monotrophosphate properly because it's being used as a, a, a neutralizing factor to put out the acids, it's missing the strengthening of the connective tissues. And now her connective tissues is becoming weak and we start seeing prolapses in her skin saggy breast, saggy skin, can, uh, skin, the cave cavity start start literally caving in, the the actual uh the actual intestine start prolapsing, you get droopy uh sigmoid colons, you get dro droopy and prolapse ascending colon, descending colon, all because calcium monotriphosphate is not doing its job because they have to do another job. Oh we y'all this is what you call holistic health. So just by reading her case, I could have already told y'all that this was going to be coming up because she's using calcium for the wrong reason. Calcium have to do a job. Calcium doing a job of cleansing the body and neutralizing acids. It ain't got time to build up the connective tissue. But notice what's in control of building up muscle and connective tissue. It is always thyroid. And I'm going to quiz y'all on that later. I'm going to quiz y'all on that later. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. I already shared my thoughts on autism in a video yesterday, uh, Israel. You got to go back and watch that again. If y'all get that so far, type in some nines. Yeah, we on a roll today, y'all. Y'all learning today. All praises. All praises. So now we see we're going to have to cleanse the thyroid. We got to cleanse that thyroid. So, you know, essential glandular kit is in my mind. But we see that the kidneys and the adrenals down. So I'm thinking kidneys and adrenals with an essential glandular kit. We see that her thyroid is down. I'm thinking about calcium trimonophosphate, calcium monotriphosphate. I'm thinking about all of these different things and all of the herbs. What's on my mind right now is a geogenetic level three. Not a level two, not a level one, a level three. The highest package that we got with the most weeks and protocols that we got. And I'm going to alter the protocol a little bit to, to make sure I'm fitting some of her needs more. I'm making sure that I'm going to have mullein leaf in there, coat's foot to break up some of that inflammation. I'm going to make sure I got some of my famous black seed oil. She's going to get a gang of three bitters because the three bitters is going to break up all of that different sinus congestion and, and let her pour away. Not only that, the three bitters is going to cleanse out the colon, the transverse colon, the ascending colon, the descending colon, the duodium. Uh, the cecum valve, everything is going to cleanse out that gut so we can start draining all these different organs and different cavities of the body. Not only that, I'm going to put her on an all fruit diet. This fruit is going to be high in berries and grapes. I'm not going to even offer her to eat anything else. Just berries and grapes. Now, since she's so systemic, I don't want to give her how to herbs. I would never get her fenugreek, even though fenugreek is a, is a mucus dissolver. Write this down, y'all. I would not ever give her ginseng. Even though gin, ginseng, Beijing ginseng, American ginseng, it's a good mucus dissolver. E even even uh, when we start talking about ginger root, I would want to give her these things, but I can't because these are what you call hot herbs. We call these acid herbs. These herbs burn. So she's already burning alive. We sure don't want to give her these type of herbs and make her burn more. So when I look at things like you know, uh, uh, slippery and bark. When I look at things like marshmallow root, when I look at things like purple corn silk, these are things I'm going to be introducing to her to cool her down first. Once she get cooled down and I get all the acids out of her body 
and I start introducing hydration to break up that agglomeration and that coagulation of acids and calcification and things like that and crystallization, then I can start giving her the hot herbs. But I never start off just giving her hot herbs because I know that these dissolved mucus, you wouldn't be a true herbalist at that point because you, even though she have a hot body, she's in a state of, she's in a state of lake of fire, y'all, where the worm dive not. Cells are burning to death. You're going to introduce her to hot herbs to break up the mucus? Remember, the mucus is not the cause the acidosis is. And the true healer would know that. So the true healer is going to want to neutralize the acidosis first. So I'm going to be giving her slippery am. You see that? I'm going to be giving her gravel root, cascar sagrande. She's going to be getting tonic herbs. It's herbs that's going to cleanse and strengthen at the same time. That's going to alkalize too. That's going to act like a sodium bicarbonate. These are the things she's going to need to be introduced into the body to calm down that fire, to put out that fire before we start introducing her to things like fennel Greek and all these other hot, highly active herbs that's super alkaline. We have to understand when you're looking at the alkaline spectrum between one and one and six is acidic. Seven is neutral. But once you start going to seven all the way up to 14, you're going back hot. Even though you're going hot on the alkaline level, bleach is alkaline. Bleach is alkaline. Drink some bleach and tell me if you live to, eat, uh, live, live to talk about it. It's going to burn and eat you alive, but still it's alkaline. Showing you that, that at that high spectrum of al uh, alkaline or what you call alkalosis, you can die just like alka uh, acidosis. So we can't be introducing people that are already hot, people that are already acidic to more hot herbs, y'all. We have to think about the root cause of diseases. We cannot be thinking actually about the, the, the effect or the symptoms. See, symptomology is the allopathic community. That's the pharmaceutical companies. That's their mind game. That's their culture. We building a whole different culture around that bullshit. If y'all got what I'm saying so far, type in some nines. And I hope my future healers are writing these things down. I hope my future healers are writing these things down. We got 700 people in the building, y'all. Appreciation. See that? I'm going to start warning y'all again. It used to be thousands. So I see what I'm going to... Two hours before I go live, I'm going to start warning y'all again. Because these people, man. These people have been straight shadow banning the hell out of me, family. So I see I'm going to just keep warning. I'm glad all of y'all are learning. All right. Let's see if y'all been learning real quick. Real quick. Give it to me. Give it to me. What releases calcium in the bloodstream? What gland in the body releases calcium in the bloodstream? Y'all, who got it? What gland in the body releases calcium in the bloodstream? Huh? What gland releases calcium in the bloodstream? Who got it, family? Drink some of my melon juice. Who got it? That's right, y'all. That's right. That's right, Tabitha. The thyroid. That's right. It's a John's, the thyroid. Uh, Casino Rico. It's not the pituitary. The pituitary is for stimulating growth hormones. It's also for prolactin, how a woman produces milk. The pituitary gland is over the reproductive system over men and women. That's the pituitary. That's right, Gloria White. That's right, Patricia. That's right, Callie Snipes. That's right, it's Mars V. That's right, Christian Mims. Uh, uh, Fab Fabnina Coti, I think I said your name right. The parathyroid. See, now who actually got it completely right is Fabnina Coti. It's the parathyroid. And the parathyroid is what sits on the thyroid. The parathyroid is in control of parathyroxin and parathyromone. These are the hormones that alerts a signal to the bone marrow to tell the bone marrow to strip itself of its calcium matrix and put it into the bloodstream. So she got real particular with it. That's right. You absolutely right. It's the parathyroid. The parathyroid is what sits on the thyroid. I love it. Y'all are learning. Y'all are learning. All right, what else she got going on? Okay, so we talked about the high cholesterol. We talked about we talked about the mitral valve prolapse. All right, she also got cysts. Cysts is calcification, y'all. Period. Point blank. Period. Whenever you see a cyst, it's a calcification. Now, guess what we're gonna see next? She got nodules. Nodules on her thyroid. Told y'all. Why is the thyroid down? Because you have too much systemic mucus and, and lymph and cerebrospinal fluid built up in the cavity because her transverse colon is too packed. And she got too much mucinoid plaque buildup. She can't drain. So now we got to start draining out of all the different exits and entryways of her body. Nose, ears, eyes, mouth, skin if we have to. I'm trying to pull dandruff from out of her hair. I want her to, I want to come back a few days later and her scalp is white as snow. 
And she asking me, Yaki, what the hell is going on? These herbs are killing me. No, they not. I'm trying to bring dandruff. Go and wash your hair and get all of that mucus and fungus up out your head. See, that? that's true healing. True healing look ugly as hell, y'all. Sorry to tell you. True healing look ugly as hell. You got cellular waste, cellular shit coming in urination, coming out through your skin, your nose, your ears. It's called mucus. It's called mucus. It's called cholesterol. It's called earwax, boogers, snot. Dandruff, skin patches, rashes, diarrhea, excessive urination. That's what beautiful, ugly healing looks like, family. Eliminate. We trying to see elimination. I don't care where it come out, long as it come out. We didn't have poop tumors pop out of skin before. Yes, people coughing up tumors. People pooping out tumors. Poop, we trying to see it come out. However it come out, we looking for elimination. You see that? Because whatever the body does not eliminate, the bodies accumulate. Whatever the body accumulated, coagulate. Coagulation brings crystallization and calcification. And then you're going to have all types of problems you wish you never had. We need to work on elimination. Facts. All right, so she got nodules on the thyroids, tumors in multiple places, gorders. Look, here it go. Not only nodules, but the thyroid is growing calcification because of the calcium is not being utilized. All right, let's see who's been learning. What utilizes minerals in the body? Give me the gland. What utilizes minerals in the body, family? Who got it? Come on, family. Come on. What utilizes minerals in the body? I will give you a clue. The same gland that utilizes the minerals Utilize cortisol, utilize your sugars and your lipids. Who got it, family? Who got it? What utilize minerals in the body? If you have mineral, uh, if your body is deprived of minerals, what's the gland that's down? That's right, Tamika Holmes. The adrenal glands. That's right, uh, Brika Iris. The, the, the adrenals. That's right, Shredder 03. The adrenal glands. Patricia Strowman. Callie Snipes, that's right, essential nature, y'all are learning. The adrenal glands is down. The adrenal glands. So now we have to bring the adrenal glands back online. But remember, all systems are down because the adrenals are down. The stomach or the solar plexus chakra is the true brain of the body. It's not the central nervous system. It's not the cardiovascular nervous system. It's the intrinsic nervous system, which is the solar plexus, the solar, the sun. We are children of the sun. We are sun people. You see that? You see that? We even worship a sun god. Some people call it Yahushua. Some people, the Christians call it Jesus. The, the, the Kemetics call it Amen Ra. The Shaman people call it a different name. It's so many names. But showing that we are solar people, we are children of the sun because we are made of biochemical makeup called carbon or melanin or sugar. And this literally eats the ultraviolet sun rays of the sun and it converts it over into cholesterol. The cholesterol converts these things over into polymers. Now we got biofields and we go through an iontropyrophous photosynthesis just the same way like chloroplasts and plants do. And this is what gives us vitality and give us fuel for our vehicle and that's the reason why when we breathe out carbon dioxide from breaking down and metabolizing carbon guess who eats that carbon dioxide the plants then the plant breathe out oxygen then we breathe in the oxygen and we metabolize the oxygen it breaks down into carbon dioxide and sulfur guess who eats the sulfur the sun it's a relationship going on here y'all a relationship showing you that you are nature you're a part of nature and the only thing that's going to heal you so-called black men and black woman is nature. Ooh we we got to talk about it. We got to talk about it. All right, she going through menopause. That makes sense. She going through menopause. The pituitary gland is uh, down and the, the thyroid is down. And that's what actually throw you into menopause, the pituitary gland. Remember, the pituitary gland is over what organ of the body, family? Who got it? Yes, that's right, carbon footprint. The pituitary gland is over what organ system of the body family who been listening whether it's a male or female that's right nature is our true healer nature is our true teacher in our true classroom who we who we who got it y'all see this, this we here to learn y'all i'm not here to just talk my ear and talk y'all ears off we here to learn what is the pituitary gland over that's right barica arice I hope I'm saying your name right. Yes, it is. Oh, uh, Zulima, Simeon, Israel. It is over the entire endocrine system. 
But Lulu Johnson is right and Barika is right. It ends uh, Shredder. Zero three is right. It's over the reproductive system of male and female. So now we see why she's going through menopause. Her menstruation is stopping and stuff like that because the pituitary gland is down. Just like when you get older, you start losing pigmentation in your hair and your hair start turning gray because your, your pineal gland starts shrinking. Same thing. It's just a process of life. You come in as a fetus and as a baby, and you go out as a fetus and as a baby. You come in as a baby, and your parents take care of you. Your parents get older, start to look like a baby, and start shrinking and shriveling up and going back into fetal position, and then you take care of them until they transitional pay, uh, stage. It's just it's called the rearrangement of atoms and molecules, the cycles of life, life and transition. I hate the word death because it really don't exist. It's just life. It's, it's life and then transition, life and transition. Reincarnation, incarnation, reincarnation, incarnation, traveling the backs, the vast open ended universe, universities, school, you know, you got Harvard, Uni Harvard University, Minnesota University. See that we trying to go to cosmic university. Facts, y'all facts. I love that y'all learning. Love that y'all learning. All right. It says, uh, it says, I'm sick every day and I have diabetes. We already know. So that's another gland. That is the actual what, y'all? The pancreas. She got diabetes. I don't know whether it's diabetes one or two, but we know she got parasites and we know she got acids inside of the islands of Langerheims inside of the pancreas. We're dealing with acids again. Sleep apnea because she's not able to breathe properly. Asthma. Asthma is the bronchial tubes being constructed full of acids. They gave her a biologic shot for asthma that, that's, it says asthma that's new that's new last week, and I didn't know what brand and knew it was. Now I feel worse. See that now they're experimenting on you, goddess. You getting experimented on. I don't ever feel good. That's not used on words though. Don't speak that into existence. I said uh, from getting out of the bed to going to going from getting out of bed to going to bed for four years. I need some help. I'm gonna help you out. It says you are going live tonight. Yes, you most definitely caught the live, goddess. It says, or can I get a response, please? Always fatigued. Uh-oh, hold on, fatigued. What are we talking about? Adrenal fatigued. See that? The adrenal glands is down. The adrenal glands is in control of putting the kidneys online. The kidneys is in control of filtering the lymphatic system. The lymphatic system is full of metabolic waste. Metabolic waste is what the cells produce. The cells produce a byproduct called acid, uric acid, phytic acid, lactic acid, carbonic acid. Uh, uh, amyloid protein acid. So you see that? All these different acids that's going, nitric acid, sulfuric acid, all these things come from talking, walking, eating, breathing. When you breathe, you're breathing in nitrates. When you breathe, you're breathing in carbon, and these things have to be converted because your breath is metabolized by oxygen. That metabolic process is going to what? Create acids, whether you're on an alkaline or acid diet. The whole thing you have to do is to get the kidneys filtering, but you can filter the lymphatic system because the lymphatic lipid-based system is what deals with the acidic corrosive side of chemistry, which is acidosis. The only way to get the lymphatic system filtering is by way of the kidneys and the adrenals being turned on. If the adrenals ain't on, the thyroid ain't on. If the thyroid ain't on, you can't sweat. So now your third kidney, which is your biggest kidney and the biggest organ of your body, which is your skin, can't even per uh, perspire for you. Now the kidney's down. The kidneys is what filtrates metabolic waste. That's down. Now what you going to do? Even your hair is used as a limitory system. Not only that, but your hair is an extension of your nervous system. So now you can't even build up dandruff. So every fontanelle, or what we're going to call alternative root of elimination, is actually blocked up because the kidneys and the adrenals are not working. It's very imperative that y'all learn all the knowledge y'all can learn on the kidney cortex, the kidney medulla, on the on, on the adrenal cortex, the adrenal medulla, because the kidneys and the adrenal and the adrenals is why we have thousands of healing testimonies, y'all. No bullshit. Learning these two systems, you will learn the whole entire body because these two systems is how you cleanse the sewage system of the body. The blood is what feeds the cells of the body. The lymphatic system is the sewage system. It's what cleanses the cells of the body. The nerves talk to the cells of the body. The lymphatic system is the sewage system, and they have lymphatic systems associated organs. You have the thymus gland. 
that deals with all of the assets that's built up by the heart. The heart is working all day. It's a valve. All it's doing is opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing, opening and closing. Muscles is dilating and contracting, dilating and contracting. You know, I mean, that's a whole lot of work. That's burning a whole lot of electrical magnetic energy. Guess what? Acid is going to be produced. So guess what's going to neutralize those acids? You have something called T sites. I mean, T cells, thymus cells that sits on top of the heart that's going to make sure it neutralizes them acids. Then you got the throat that you talking all day. All you doing is talking. What I'm doing now, burning. I'm sweating so much I'm talking. Guess what that thyroid, gonna, that thymus gland and that thyroid going to do? It's going to activate. It's going to open up the skin for I can start sweating. See that every different organ in your body is associated with the lymphatic system and it's called a lymphatic associated organ because each different organ in your body work and do their own thing so they need a cleaning system next to them. It ain't nothing but a damn cleaning machine next to the organ. The organ got to work all day. It needs something to clean it up all day. For the heart working all day, it actually has something called the thymus gland. Oh, we, for the lungs working all day, it has something called the pear patches in the liver. Oh, we, you see that? For the stomach working all day, you have something called the pancreas. Oh, we now right next to the pancreas. What else you have when you go on the top of it? You have something called the what, y'all? I'm listening. The spleen. Oh, we because the blood is what clean. Look, the blood cleanses itself into these systems. The blood cleanses itself into the thymus. The blood cleanses itself into the thyroid. The blood cleanses itself into the liver and make bile lipids. The blood cleanses itself into the spleen because the blood cannot take the acidic blowback because you would die. You would die. 7.45. That's all you got on the blood. That's your potential hydrogen, your pH of your blood. 7.45. 7 the moment it go up or down, you dying. So the blood is constantly maintaining its balance of homeostasis. It's constantly cleaning itself and dumping all this bullshit and me me uh, metabolic waste off into what? The lymphatic associated tissues or what we call lymphatic associated organs, then it go through lymph vessels. The lymph vessels take all of this metabolic waste to something called lymph noids. The lymph noids then break down all this metabolic waste and take it through the kidneys by way of the adrenals and you're filtering out the natural accumulation of acids because you are living everyday life and everything come with a price. You breathing cause acids just by you breathing, just by you living. You live in light, you cause darkness. You go on right, you're going to create a left. You beautiful, automatically create ugly. You go up, there's a such thing as down. You go in, there's an out. You go white, there's a black. Duality. See that? Compensation. Water, snow, heat, cold, left, right. Atoms, protons, neutrons, electrons, positive, negative, up, down. Consumption, eating, and elimination, getting rid of what you just eliminated and metabolized. If you understand these simple laws of chemistry, it's impossible to get sick with disease. Straight up. Ooh-wee. Y'all got to be ooh-wee in the day. <laughs> y'all stand it for me. Ooh-wee. <laughs> Give me some ooh-wee, y'all. Ooh-wee. <laughs> That's funny. All right. It says, uh, I need help. It says, or are you going live tonight? Yes. It says, I'm fatigued, adrenals, short of breath, of course, adrenals again, because adrenals are a part of the autonomic nervous system, which things that's running on autopilot, breathing, and your lungs going in and out. It's actually an autopilot thing. That's all adrenals and cortisol and, and steroids all day by the adrenal glands. Chest pains, your chest pains is actually coming from the lower left side of your heart because the connective tissue is not working because you're not utilizing calcium because the thyroid is gland. Dizziness dizziness is because you have so much pressure built up into your brain your motor skills and your cognitive skills are uh, uh, imbalanced you're not balanced you're not in a state of ma'at or in a state of homeostasis because acids is attacking your body and i do not feel right this has made me depressed your depression is because of your thyroid and you're not converting ldl cholesterol over into vitamin d3 and vitamin 12 and you're probably missing b12 b12 come from a cobalt mineral but this mineral is not being utilized because your adrenals are down again so you're missing cobalt you're missing b12 you're missing vitamin d3 because you're missing the sun even if you set in the sun it still won't work because you got too much mucus and acids built up on the thyroid and the parathyroid goddess i'm gonna help you though it says, and I have anxiety, thyroid all day. If you read this online, please don't call me out my name. I ain't mentioned your name, goddess. I already got you. It says, as I never seen you do that. 
I would never do that. Now, if you don't say nothing like that, I will call your name out. So if y'all don't like y'all names being mentioned or y'all pictures being shown, because if you show me a pimple, a tumor, or a herpes bump, I will show it. You better put it, because I'm here to learn. I'm here to teach and, 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 and to learn and remember with y'all. See that? I'm, I'm a teacher. I like, I'm a healer. I love to heal. So I'm going to be trying to show people stuff. So make sure you put the disclaimer in there if I won't show and tell your business. All right. Now, how to get rid of this? I already told you. We got to cleanse you systematically. You need the geogenetic therapeutic package level three. Not only do you need that, but you need an all berry diet high in grapes. That's what you need. That's what you need. All right. Uh, before we go to the next question, y'all, I want to do a quick commercial uh, for y'all that don't know. I do have a lecture called the Risen Black Messiah Alliance uh, Health and Liberation Seminar. It's at the World Beach Soap Cultural Center off of uh, 2100 Park Boulevard in San Diego, California. Uh, make sure y'all there May the 7th. It is a Saturday or what they would call a Saturn's Day, or what we call Shabbat T or Shab uh, Yom Shabbat. So make sure y'all pull up on me. Make sure y'all grab the tickets off eventbrite.com. Look, don't meet me there. Beat me there. We're giving away herbs. We're giving away seeds and all of that. If y'all need to see the link, I will show y'all the link as well. Let me just change my camera real quick. And let me go straight to it. This is the link right here. Make sure y'all go to that deal. Food will be served. Food is a part of the ticket price. The meditation is a part of the ticket price. We're going to be doing breathing exercises. It's going down in the building. Get your plane tickets and make sure you book you a hotel close to the event. It is in San Diego, California, family. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful event. For those that need healing herbs, y'all, make sure that you go to www.yakiawaken.com. Uh, and look, it says that the body was created to heal itself. If it was provided the right environmental conditions, uh, make sure y'all check me out. Just go through this thing. We have a whole new website that's being built right now and it should be ready in a month or two. It is way more user friendly. It don't crash and it don't have this long ass loading time. So it's coming, y'all. We working on it. You got the geogenetic therapy. You got the education tab that take you to foods to eat everything. It's so much free information on this website. Please use it and just be patient with the loading. The loading's getting better because we've been erasing things. Notice you got the eat to live. Let your food be your medicine. Fruits, berries, and melons section where I'm breaking down that. Genesis 129 to 30, showing that the Bible also promotes a fruit diet. Uh, this actually goes through food anatomy and a course of your physiology, showing you that humans are closest to frugivores than they is herbivores, omnivores, or carnivores. Even my amino acid therapy diet uh, therapeutic program is on here. Uh, my fruit chart is on here. Eat to live chart is on here. Everything. Even if you want to do cooked foods, it's go you're going you're gonna to destroy the alkalinity and it's going to be slightly mucus forming, but you can't cook certain foods. Uh, I don't recommend that if you're healing, though. I recommend an all raw fruit diet. And then we actually give you the mucus list diet, mucus forming foods and all of that. For instance, fish is, puff, uh, is pus forming, blood and animals, eggs of all kinds, lard, meat, beef, chicken, horse, dog. Molten lamb, turkey, val, pork, bacon, ham, sausage. It shows you everything that's mucus. It even gives you moderately, moderately mucus forming foods, such as cereals, such as certain breads. A spelt is moderately mucus forming. Black rice is, far, is moderately mucus forming. Pseudo cereals is all kind buckwheat, chia, amaranth, uh, uh, quinoa. All these things are moderately, moderately mucus forming. I mean, every information and things that you need on so much free information on here, y'all. I'm not trying to get y'all just to buy herbs. You can come on here and learn so much stuff. Even when you get into the list of resources, whether you need different types of water filtration systems and all of that, it is right here, y'all. All you have to do is click on them. We got water filtrators, filtration systems, therapy, juicers, the juicers that I have inside of my home, natural pads, BPA-free cups, copper glass and cookware, wood and dishware, detergent and cleaning products, retail source sources to go to, fluoride, metal cleaners. I mean, everything is on here, y'all. We, we did a lot of work to do this, y'all. A lot of work and a lot of studying. So make sure that y'all take a uh, free advan advantage of this free information. Consultations. Everybody say, how do I get a consultation from you, Yaki? Go to www.yakiawaken.com. Click on Herbal Store. Go to the far left corner of Herbal Store under Products Categories. The first thing you're going to find is consultation. It's $100 to speak to the team. It's more to talk to me directly, but the team is trained by me. Anian Kawa is trained by me. Jamal, all of them are trained. So you will be cool if you just go here, click the consultation. We're training people and we're hiring new people right now. So, you know, 
If you want to spend a lot of money to talk to me because I'm so busy, you can do that. I'm cool with that. But if you want a, a, a less expensive way out, book it with the staff and they will take care of you, family. All right, that concludes my actual my actual uh commercial, y'all. Let me get back to it. If y'all understand everything so far, type in some nines, family. That's right, Jamal Jackson. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Come talk to us. Amir Sh Sh Shari, y'all ain't got no goddamn pro produce stores in y'all site in y'all cities. Yeah, man, it's it's crazy, man. These cities, these cities are uh, are lacking produce, and that's why the Risen Black Messiah Alliance Project, uh, Alliance uh, uh, Alliance Conference. I'm giving away seeds. I actually promote you growing your own produce. Fuck the store. Start growing your own. Get together. Get you some land. Buy some land. Strip the land. Make sure you mineralize the land, clean it up, and grow your own food. Grow your own produce. You know what I'm saying? That grows character in you, and it makes you appreciate your food more, and it'll get you out of eating them animals like that, too. So, you know, that's what we recommend, and that's, where I, that's the reason why we have seed banking and seed programs. And I will be giving away seeds at the lecture in San Diego, and we will be launching our project then, too, where you will be able to go onto a site, and you can sign up for the apprentice program and the agriculture program. We're not giving seeds away without you actually completing a program in a city near you. You got to go get your hands dirty and know what you're doing with agriculture before we leave seeds out we don't want to be wasting god's good creation uh, on people that's just gonna have seeds and not know what they're doing with them or sitting on them we want to see you being actively active in the field growing food or at least trying and then we'll give you seeds family all right all praises all right i'm glad y'all got that i'm glad y'all got that uh it's 10 52 i'm gonna do another one tomorrow y'all I'm, I'm gonna just leave this one off for one i mean we've been going super hard with this deal so that's the one for the day. What I recommend you to do, sister, again, is you need the Geogenetic Therapeutic Package Level 3, all berry and grape diet, at least 30 days on it. Don't eat nothing else. And make sure you get in contact with us. <clears throat> Y'all got any questions so far on here, and I can answer some on here. Uh, when are you coming to Dallas, Texas? Uh, I just left from Dallas, Texas, but I'm not coming to Dallas. We're coming to Houston. So you have to drive to Houston. Uh, what type of grapes? You can get globe grapes. That's cool. Concord grapes. That's cool. Just make sure you find them with the seeds. And people say that I can't find grapes with seeds. That's nonsense. We grow. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. We actually have several stores that grows natural grapes with seeds. You just have to really look and dig for them, y'all. I grow organic broccoli microgreens in my kitchen. That's good with you. That's super good. Uh, you got to get past that broccoli, though. But that's super good for you. I ain't going to knock you. But just really start looking up and, you know, getting into testing your foods that's GMO and not GMO or, or a split by man, you know. Uh, it says, I have a, a Mitri valve prolapse, high cholesterol, ear problems. We just uh, we just talked about all of that. It said, I got your geogenetic package level three. You did right. Uh, Coattail Thomas, you did right. You got exactly what you need. I just need you to dive in on a high berry diet blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, bear berries, saw palmito berries. And you need to dive, uh, uh, dive deep on the berries, 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 and add some grapes to that diet. Add some grapes. You're going to lose weight, but forget about the weight. Forget about the weight. Forget about the weight. You'll gain it back once you heal. <clears throat> but you got the right package the geogenetic level three. That geogenetic level three package with them three bitters have been getting rid of everything. I mean, everything. We don't believe in disease or the name that's attached to them. Only reason why we say things like cancer, HIV, sickle cell anemia, leukemia is because that's how you identify with it. But once my book down, done, which is going to be done soon, y'all ain't going to be identifying with none of that bullshit no more. I'm telling y'all. All right. Uh, yes, Dallas. <laughs> It says, indeed, bro, I'm in a Caribbean organic form. I'm starting a 60 acre organic form. Uh, Dalon Williams, make sure you contact me, brother. Matter of fact, I'm going to contact you. Let me write your name down. Let's link up. Let's link up, brother. Dalon. Let's link up. Maybe we can start a distribution or something. Let's link up. I'm going to have my manager hit you up. You're going to be receiving a... You're going to be receiving contact from uh, Nabi. How can I gain weight? <clears throat> uh, you need to, if First thing is, is you absorb it. You might be malnutrition. So, I mean, that's a broad question. That's a very broad, broad question, uh, family. How can you gain weight? We got to make sure that your absorption factor is good. Is you absorbing? 
You know, is you digesting properly? Is you utilizing what you're absorbing properly? And is you eliminating properly? First, we got to figure that out. And if that is the problem, then that means that your thyroid, your thyroid is too hyper. We got to slow the thyroid down. Then after that, we got to give you stuff that's going to bulk you up. You know, things like horsetail, things like shade grass, things like alfalfa sprouts, things like certain type of mineral uh, lipids or what we're going to call phytic uh, beans, like uh, bar uh, Brazilian nuts and walnuts. It's a lot of things to bulk you up, but usually that don't be the issue. The issue be that you have digestion problems and you're not utilizing because either you have an obstructed bowel or your adrenals are down. That usually be the problem why people can't gain weight. I'm completely plant-based vegan, and y'all see how big I am. I don't have no problem with gaining weight at all, y'all. Gaining weight at all. You see what I'm saying? But that's because I eliminate properly, I absorb properly. There's nothing wrong with my lymphatic system and my adrenals online. People are like, well, how can I eat like you and keep the weight on you? It's easy for me because I'm, I'm constantly cleansing. I'm constantly on herbs. I'm back and forth with fasting. Like, you just have to get into this lifestyle, and you'll see that you can keep on weight. And I don't work out, too. If I worked out, I'd be more chiseled and be more cut up, but I don't work out like that. I'd be too busy. I'm finna start getting back in the gym and doing calisthenics, you know, lifting my own body weight. But you, I mean, I gain weight good. I, I hold on some weight good. <clears throat> oh my God, you okay? Sneezing, what's up? I don't get what that means. Okay, answer that already. We need you in Canada. Any plans to come here? Yes, but I'm hearing uh from somebody I'll be talking to. They say Canada like locked down right now because of the so-called C C O V I D one nine. You know what I'm saying? So they saying Canada is hard to get in and get out right now. But I was thinking about that though. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Yaki. Thank you too. Bless, bless to you, God. Bless to you. It says, how would you? How would I help someone with an infection in the body? There's no such thing as an infection in the body. Uh, the only reason why bacteria is there building up in the body is because of what, y'all? What was bacteria created to do in the body, family? Let me show you. Hey, uh, Kim Su, let me show you how, how, how the people be learning. Look, check this out. I ain't going to even have to answer this question, y'all. I'm going I'm to let the people answer it. She said that she's dealing. How can she deal with infection in the body? Somebody got a bacterial infection. Is the bacterial the cause or the effect? And if, if, and if it is the effect, then what is the cause, family? Let's see. Let's see. Who got it? Who got it? I love this. See, this is the part I love. Who got it, family? Bacterial infection in the body. Why is the bacteria there? That's right, Meek Meek. That's right, Barica Ice uh, erase, erase to eat the acid. So the problem is acidosis. Bacteria, bifidum bacteria, lactose bacillus bacteria, candida bacteria, all these different microbiomes is there to eat up acids. That's right, Tiffany Daniels. That's right, Akali. All of these things is to eat up the acidosis. So the infestation is not the issue. You got to get rid of the acids. And how you get rid of the acids is opening up the lymphatic system. How you open up the lymphatic system is getting the kidneys open, getting the kidneys filtrating, and getting the adrenal glands online. How you do that is by changing to a frugivorous diet, not only getting on that fruit, live it plan, but you need to get some of my herbs, or you can get your own herbs. My herbs are trusted. My herbs are from the land of their own origin, and my, my herbs are some of the most powerful herbs that I know of. I, get, I hear that all the time from thousands of people. So you can either buy them off my site or you can get them from a trusted herbalist or get them from your own research. Who, mat who matters? As long as my people are healing, I don't care who deal doing the healing. That's why I'm here teaching you all this knowledge for free. We need more healers. I promote more healers. I just wish a lot of them knew what the hell that they was talking about and what they was doing. But, you know, it's, I guess that's why I'm here giving all this free information, because a lot of herbalists do listen to me and I do teach a lot of herbalists. I just hope that they start applying the information. Let's start putting ego to the side, having piss and dick contests, and let's start healing. King, are you coming to NY? Yes, we are coming to New York. We are coming to New York. All right, y'all, look, it's 11 o'clock. I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. I love y'all, indeed and in truth, peace, 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 love, light, and healing. Make sure that y'all get tickets to the event off of eventbrite.com. Uh, also, if you need any healing herbs, click on the website. Books coming soon, class courses coming soon. A lot of things is coming soon. We're working very hard, and we have so much in store for y'all, family. I don't want to tell y'all everything because we got a lot of haters on here that be praying on my downfall, but it's all good, though. All right, peace, love, light, and healing. Peace to the gods, peace to the earth, peace, children of the sign. It's of the sun, my light, my light being people. I appreciate y'all too. Love y'all too. Peace, peace.